Hey, welcome back to yet another video on data science. So today we are going to learn how to make a scatter plot using a simple syntax. In my previous videos, I had already described what is a scatter plot and what is the syntax to make it. And this is a series of five basic plots which a data scientist must know. So that consists of bar plot, scatter plot, line plot, pie chart, and bubble plot. So excited to know about scatter plot? Let's get started. So basically, what is a numpy? Recall what is numpy? See that you recall it or not? Okay, let me tell you. It is a general purpose array processing package and it can also be used as an efficient multidimensional container of generic data. So let's import our first library that is numpy. So for importing, let's write import numpy as np. Now, secondly, we have the pandas library and recall the same. Do you remember? Okay, let me revise that Pandas is the most popular Python library used for data analysis. So let's import and for importing, we use import Pandas as PD. Now our third library by which we are going to make our plot today is Oddly Express library. So it is a high level API for rapid data explorations and figures. So let's import. For importing, import plotly.express as px. Now let's run. For running, you can either press shift plus enter. You can go to run or run the focus cell. Or you can run this circle. So let's run this. Okay, now for generating another code block, here you can click the code. Now what we have to do, we have to read the data from which we are going to make this scatter plot. So name that df is equal to pd.read csv. pd.read pd csv is a syntax for reading a file and csv refers to the file which has comma separated values in my last videos i had always used a data set which i had already stored in my file but today i'm going to use a today i'm going to use a link for this and this is a plotly data sets these are the data sets which a plotly library already contains so for getting the link you can press on any of the data click the raw and copy the data and copy the link whatever link comes here so let's copy that and after copying let's paste the same in our data set and now Let's run that. Okay, now let's see that what our file contains. So for that, I had told you that for seeing the first five rows, we use head. And for seeing the last five rows, you can use df.tail. So our data contains total bill, tip, gender, smoker, day, time, and size. So let's make a scatter plot. For making a scatter plot, px dot scatter. Px refers to the plotly express library, and scatter refers to the scatter plot. Now we have to give the data name whatever we have given above. So let's check. We have given the name as df. So we will write the same here. Now in the x axis I want that my total bill should appear. So I gave total bill in my x axis and now in my y I want the 
columns appear. I have given y is equal to tip. Now let's run this. And do we get a scatter plot? And yeah, we have a scatter plot. And this scatter plot tells only two information that is the total bill and the tip. Now, those who have seen my previous video about basic plots, they must be wondering that in that I had told about size and hover name also, but where are they? So let's add them. Now, I want the hover name to be a time column. So, hover name is equal to and now I want the color to be the respective days and days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and whatever our data contains. So we have color is equal to gray and I want my bubbles to appear in the smaller and bigger size. So I will give the size as the size column as let's see that our data contains a size column also and it contains that how many members of a family got uh, go for the dinner or lunch at the same time now let's run this and see what happens to our scatter plot and you can see that our scatter plot has totally changed here in the right corner, we have the respective days that our data contains and you can see these bubbles are small and bigger as respective to the size. Now let's click on this big bubble. It tells that the, the time is dinner, day is Sunday, total bill is 20.69, tip is 5 and size is 5. Now let's see a small bubble. It tells the it tells the time that the time is dinner. Day is Saturday. Total bill is 3.07. Tip is 1 and size is 1. So did you notice that as the size increases, the size of the bubble also increases. For a one member from a family, the size is very small and for a six members from a family the size is very big so this was our scatter plot which we which we have learned in this video and what are you all waiting for just go and see all the data sets which this plotly express library contains and download a one and just try making this scatter plot now the next video will be on the pie chart and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. So this is all for this video. Thank you and bye-bye.